So it seems like an annual tradition that Pokemon releases what is known as the Trick or Trade Booster Bundle. And normally, I kind of skip those. The first year that they released, it was kind of chaotic. It was during like the Pokemon hype pandemic. People were scalping these up, reselling them like two, three dollars a pack when they're like a 50 cents pack at most. And it was just a crazy chaotic thing. And then Pokemon released a couple of other iterations of it where there was never really a fun Pokemon to really chase after. But I was kind of seeing a lot of the uh, like reveals of this on Twitter. And I decided I wanted to open up one for myself, mainly because of one Pokemon on there. If you guys don't know, I'm a huge fan of Eeveelutions. I've been a fan of Eeveelutions long before Evolving Skies. They were always my favorite Pokemon. Shout outs to Flareon and Espeon for being the coolest ones. But I seen the uh, Gengar and I seen the Trevenant and I seen the uh, beautiful Umbreon and Pikachu on the front. And it made me think maybe just maybe there's a nice foil Umbreon in this set. So we're going to open up this booster bundle and we're going to determine if it's worth it. We're also going to review the set as a whole to see if it's one that's actually worth opening. Because let's be honest, guys, I have opened up a ton of products and there are plenty of products out there that exist that I can 100% say are not worth opening. Um, but considering that you can get these bags for like 12 bucks and you get 35 packs with three cards in them, they're pretty cool. They're meant to be given out during Halloween. So if you if you know you got a lot of Pokemon fans that are come, going to come visit you during Halloween, they're definitely worth purchasing. But for a personal collector, usually you can complete this whole set just by opening up one. So we're going to see what's in here. And we're going to see if we can find any cool cards out of these packs. So one thing I want you to notice is that the foils are indeed Cosmo. And that is what we're hoping for. We're hoping to get some beautiful Cosmo foils. Now, these are supposed to be Halloween themed Pokemon, like Pokemon that can kind of fit the Halloween theme. And our first hit is going to be a Pheasant Dippity. Look at that beautiful Cosmo foil. So nice. Cosmo foiling with the Scarlet and Violet era is one of the best things about it. And that's one of the reasons why I wanted to open this up, because I've seen that you can get Cosmo foiling of the cards. And I really, really love that. So we're going to sleeve up all of our beautiful Cosmo foils today because I'm going to look at them after a stream and see if I can find any beautiful squirrels to add to the personal collection. Um, if you are interested in any of these singles, I do run an eBay store and I'll put all my extras on there for like 99 cents each. So we'll actually do pack to the front. So we got Pumpkaboo. He is always going to be one of those cards that's in these boxes. Pumpkaboo kind of fits the theme really well. Ghastly is a ghost. And we got an Okidogi. Okidogi looks actually kind of cool as a Cosmo foil. You can kind of see the swirl that got cut off, unfortunately. Um, as for a theme, I get it. I get why they would put them in the set, but eh, I, I've seen enough Okidogi for a lifetime. Um, he was featured in both Shadow Fable and Twilight Masquerade. Kind of wish this Gengar would have been foil. That would have been a nice little foil upgrade. This uh, Gengar, the one that cast a shadow, even though it makes no sense. And then the Pikachu. All right, this is a nice foil. Pikachu as a foil is really cool. Looks like you got a partial squirrel right there, right by his tail. Beautiful card. Definitely the foil. Like if you were to get a foil of Pikachu in this set, that's pretty nice. I really dig that. I really love the Cosmo foil. So this set, because they're using reprints just with the stamp, it's hard to tell how big this set might be. I have yet to see an official card list online. <coughs> so the only thing I can do is assume that the set is not that large because they're just taking spooky mons from all different kinds of sets, like Houndoom, for example, and then giving us things like this beautiful Fluttermane. I love these because look at that squirrel right there on top of that text. Ancient and uh, future Pokemon and their foils are so nice. I love that. Look at that. That is so nice. And I believe Fluttermane, I haven't really kept up with the meta well, but I believe Fluttermane is playable. So if you're a Fluttermane fan, that might be a nice little upgrade to add to your deck. We got Houndstone. I think this one was a foil in the previous one. So this definitely feels like a random place in. And then Mimikyu. This one got both a printing in Paldean Fates and a printing in Scarlet and Violet 1. So yeah, it's okay. 
that one I'm, I'm not too excited about because I've seen that card a little bit too much being a Pokemon fan. Like, it, oh, damn it. That is disappointing. Why is this not foil? Pokemon, you can easily upgrade your foils. That one is a disappointment. That is why I was opening this up. So I'm hugely disappointed that this is a pack art and they couldn't give it a foil variant. But that is a cool foil. Gengar as a foil is very, very nice. I will take Gengar. Because think about it, right? They gave Pikachu the upgrade. So it's not like they were going to give just foil cards the foil treatment. So they could have given Umbreon that. Uh, same with uh, not just Gengar, but if we go back real quick and look at the other ones, Pikachu and Gengar are both common and uncommon. So Pokemon, you could have easily made Umbreon a foil. That is highly disappointing. Dark Cry is pretty cool. This is Obsidian Flames Dark Cry, so it's naturally a hollow. I love that the swirl is like right on his hand though, so that's nice. But once again, highly disappointing that Umbreon's not a foil in this set. I know, I know that I'm probably speaking like a typical Pokemon fan, uh, somebody who loves Evolving Skies or whatever, but this would be a nice foil too. Like, look at that artwork. Imagine if that had the star foil line. That would be nice. Lampant. Peter, the card. Sinistra. See, like, I feel like they gave us a lot of Twilight Masquerade cards as foils. And while Sinistra kind of fits the theme because he is supposed to be a version of the Ghost Pokemon uh, Vulture guys. Even Trevenant didn't get the love. I thought Trevenant would also have a foil. Fuel Mass Ogre Pond. Yeah, so... I'm going to start bashing on these a bit because now it's just feeling like they're throwing a lot of Twilight Masquerade cards in here for no reason. Like, they absolutely had some spooky mons that they could have given the love to. They could have given a nice rarity upgrade to. But instead, we're just getting Monkey Dory, Teal Mask. And while I get it, I get that you want to promote your current set. Stellar Crown comes out a week after these released. So it's like... It's like at this point, it's kind of defeating the purpose, right? Because you could have easily have given us something good, right? And now it looks like we're going to start seeing the repeats on the foils. Once again, disappointing. Really disappointing that Umbreon didn't get the love, the, shi the shiny foil upgrade. Especially considering that you're going to see stuff like this. Okie dokie, right? Like... I, let me let me go through these comments. I'm, I'm, we're going to discuss this. So, instead of these guys, right? I'll leave Sinistra and Darkrai and Gengar alone and Mimikyu and Fluttermane. Pikachu's always in one of these sets, so we'll leave them. So, here's five foils, or four foils, that absolutely shouldn't have been in the set. Or at least not foils in the set. Here's four cards, just looking at the comments, that could have replaced them. You could have easily have shown some love to Chandelure. Shendalore is a very popular ghost type. Trevenant's cool as hell. The Phantom is cute. But most importantly, you had this and this. I would even have put Screamtail, but at the same time, I think they made this a promo in one of the uh, collector's chests. Houndoom could have gotten that treatment, right? Gorgeist, even. Like, you had a lot of cool Pokemon in this set that could have replaced these foil spots and made a cooler foil. So to me... I am highly disappointed in these trick or trades. I really expected better from them. I really expected something cool, some nice little rarity upgrade of some kind of card. And I think I'm disappointed. I do like the Pikachu rarity upgrade. I will take the Pikachu. That one's a cool one. But outside of that, I don't think we're going to see anything else opening this up that is really like super cool. Fluttermane's nice for the players. I will admit that this is a great choice for a uh, Temporal Forces uh, foil. That's really nice. Really cool card. But I think at this point, I think we've kind of seen everything unless there's like a hidden gem. So I don't think there's much more in this set. I'll give it a few more packs to see if we pull anything else that's different. But as of right now, I think we're kind of... Uh, Yeah, we're just kind of gingaring up. So it looks like we're just getting duplicates at this point. So 
let's do five more packs and then we'll end here if that is uh indeed all duplicates if we don't see anything else that kind of stands out we'll call it an end so another dark cry so it does feel like we're just repeating the cycle especially because i pulled these out of packing order which i believe um tca gaming already said these are mappable so that means they sit in order so if you don't shuffle these packs up they're in order based on the hollows so i think this next one should be monkey dory or no till mask and then it's monkey dory so yeah not only is this product underwhelming to say the least it's the same old same old you got monkey dory again so it's mappable so that means you have one two three four five six seven eight nine ten hollows so that means you're every time you open one you should get three of each hollow and then depending on where you started with your pack you're probably going to end up with uh five of the duplicates so for me since pheasant deputy was my first one if i opened up all of these i'd probably have uh four copies of each of these so four fluttermane four mimikyu four pikachu four okie dogie and four pheasant deputy and three gengars dark eyes sinistra till mass ogre pond and monkey door so i get it i get it in a sense that if you were if you were planning to make these mappable like you were planning to just put these in order you wouldn't want people searching out the embryons i get it but at the same time just looking at these commons there are some really cool pokemon in here that could have absolutely gotten a nice foil upgrade that would have just been nice for any pokemon fan whether it's a kid opening up these packs or something else even if even if you wanted to do something super kid friendly Foy coco right Phantom, Waxley, Litwick, Hound Hour, right? You could have easily have given some of those foil upgrades as well. Instead, we got five like foils from Twilight Masquerade that did not need the upgrades. And I feel like that's super disappointing, especially because when I, if I get one of these packs as a kid, I'd be like, hey, maybe I can get a cool Pikachu or an Umbreon or a Gengar. And while that is true that I can get two of these cool ones, these other two Pokemon that are featured, I'm only going to get a common variant of that card, which I can get for five cents elsewhere. So that is my problem with this product. I think this is probably one of the more disappointing products I've opened this year. And I know what you're thinking, James, you opened up a trick or trade bundle thing. So maybe it is your fault. Maybe you were the one who should have, ex have expected so much. By seeing Umbreon and Trevenant on the cover, I at least expected some foil upgrades. And while Gengar and Pikachu are nice, having eight of the other foils just be random hollows that have already gotten a foil is very disappointing. Especially since I would argue that some of these don't really fit the trick or trade theme that well. I like spooky mons in my trick or trade theme. Anyways, that is just my opinion on the trick or trade booster bundle. Let me know down in the comment section below what you think about this product. Do you think it was worth it? Do you think it was bad? Do you think it was good? I would love to know your comments and uh, love to know your thoughts in the comment section below. Obviously, some of you are going to be like grown men crying. But realistically, I am a lifelong collector of trading cards. I just love trading cards. And when I buy a product that I spend my money that I earned on, I at least want something of quality. And I feel like this is just not quality. And sure, you could say this is for Halloween uh like to give out to kids on Halloween. These are kids based packs. But even then master set collectors, if you're a true master set collector, you try to collect every stamp variant, every variant of a card. So if I wanted the variants of all these cards, right? I would probably have wanted to at least have something like a foil variant of any of these cards instead of just another foil variant of a card that already got foil variants. You know what I mean? So instead of getting foil variants of a card that's already got multiple copies printed in foil, I would rather have cards that didn't get the foil love, especially Cosmo foil. So that is all, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Remember, remember as always, keep it classy and stay awesome.